The book of Jonah is a comedy starring a reluctant prophet who is given a one-sentence message. Nineveh will be destroyed in 40 days. Much to Jonah's dismay, the Ninevites repent. The point of the story is to invite us to wrestle with the question, on whom should God have mercy? A reading from the book of Jonah, chapter 3. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time, saying, Get up, go to Nineveh, the great city, and proclaim it to the message that I tell you. So Jonah set out and went to Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly large city, a three days walk across. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's walk, and he cried out, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast, and everyone, great and small, put on sackcloth. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil ways, God changed his mind about the calamity that he had said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. This song of trust proclaims that we can rely on God to care for us. A reading from Psalm 62. For God alone, my soul waits in silence, for my hope is from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rests my deliverance and my honor. My mighty rock, my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Those of low estate are but a breath. Those of high estate are a delusion. In the balances they go up. They are together lighter than a breath. Once God has spoken, twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God. And steadfast love belongs to you, O Lord, for you repay to all according to their work. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Jesus begins his ministry announcing God's coming kingdom and calls for our actions and behavior to correspond with our belief in the good news. God's loving forgiveness makes it possible for us to stop, to take steps that turn our lives in a radically new and holy direction. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little further, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. The Holy Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.